Hi everyone and welcome back. I bet it is for you TV. Uh, we have another packed week uh, with football and we are back again here to give you some more tips. After what has been uh, a very packed week with the Champions League semi-final and the Europa League semi-final, so now we are heading back to the league business uh, both in the UK and in Europe. There is still a lot to be decided. So, and we are getting to the point where uh, every game will actually could make actually the difference. So, there is a lot of betting opportunity this weekend, as you would imagine, and we are here with a full show. And uh, uh, today we're going to focus on Saturday uh, games, but we will also have show on Sunday. So, make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell so you can get notifications when new videos are released. Uh, in this way, you will not miss any of our tips and you will ensure to get the best uh, for free from our channel. If you like what you see, please put a big thumbs up as that will allow us to grow the channel even further and produce more and more free content for you. And also, if you like some of the bets that we will suggest in this show, simply click on the links below because we've put all the bets in the description so that we make it easier for you to actually uh, back them if you like to do that. And uh, we always pick the bookmakers that have the best odds. So by clicking on the links below, you will load the bets directly on the bookmaker website. That will save you time and normally you will get better return from the winnings. Obviously, if uh, um, since the odds are subject to change always double check them before betting in this show today we will go through first uh, our tips that are provided by our expert here but it is for you tv at quarter they have provided a bet of the day and a double and then we are going to our premier league expert robbie billund will give us the tips on the premier league and last but not least we are heading to europe where our local expert lucas emproni uh, is going to give us the tips on the Italian and Spanish football. So there is a lot to go through. Let's start immediately with um, bet of the day released by our expert here. Bet is for you, TV at quarter. For this bet, we are going to Germany and the Bundesliga as we have picked a match between uh, uh, Wolfsburg and Union Berlin. So those two teams are coming into this match in different mood. Uh, Wolfsburg are pretty much, are very much involved in the in the championship uh, battle. They need a win to actually secure um, their position. They are coming into this match in very good form. They won nine of the last thirteen at home in the Bundesliga. And although they have lost the last two matches, it was against Bayern and uh, Borussia Dortmund. And in both the occasions, they did quite well. Uh, so they are in, uh, in good form. In addition to that, if we look at the stats, we can see that no Bundesliga team has had a better home clean sheet record than uh, the Wolves, as they have kept eight clean sheets at home in 15 games. So definitely very solid when they play in their own stadium. Wolfsburg, as I said before, will be fully motivated to try to, to secure a Champions League spot and they can, they can count on uh, striker Wood uh, Vegas, who has been in great, great form recently and has now scored in six of the last eight uh, Bundesliga appearances. He will look forward to increase his tally this, uh, this season. He can get to up to 20 goals if he will score in this match. So they have uh, players in good form, Wolf Wolfsburg, and they will look forward to this match as they have a very good opportunity against our Union Berlin side that have had a very good season uh, and obviously above expectations. But if we look at the last period, it looks like they are um, going through a little bit of a period where um, they... Um, they are actually a little bit outside out of form in fact they are slipped out the top six uh, as that they have occupied throughout the winter and uh, if we look at their away form they haven't won a single away game in the last two months so this match against a motivated Wolfsburg looks quite prohibitive for them they're probably happy with what they have achieved in this season and they are just uh, thinking about next season and probably some holidays as well so uh, we believe there is a very good opportunity in backing Wolfsburg to win 2 nil. As we said before, Wolfsburg are very strong, the best home record in terms of uh, clean sheet in the Bundesliga. And this is a match where uh, um, 
they have an opportunity to win against and deliver comfortably and deliver another clean sheet and get closer to that Champions League uh, spot, which will be a fantastic achievement for them. The odds also are very nice. Uh, we're getting a, a two to one for this option. And this is our uh, uh, bet of the day from our expert here, Ben, for you, TB at quarter. Let's now move to the double and uh, for the double we are staying in the Bundesliga as uh, we have picked uh, two games from uh, this uh, from Germany and the first one is the great game should be a great game between Borussia Dortmund and Leipzig and we picked uh, over 2.5 goals. So Dortmund have uh, um, after they've been ups and down uh, during the season it looks like they're actually getting back back to the um, to the, the team that we all know and they are uh, coming into this match knowing that with a win they could jump back into the top four so very important match for them and uh, Leipzig on the other end they've had a fantastic season they've been challenging uh, Bayern Munich for a long time but now it looks like that the race for the title is over after all Bayern Munich uh, can secure the title with a win and if Leipzig will not win uh, actually will lose it will actually be um, you know the title will go to the Bavarians mathem mathematically so very very little chance of practically impossible for Leipzig to win this match their season is pretty much over already and um, so, although, um, so, so, you know, Bundesliga uh, always deliver a lot of goals and this match should be the same as uh, Borussia Dortmund have been in great form recently. They will have um, back uh, Erling Haaland as well uh, for this match. He scored 25 goals, has, has been out uh, uh, due to injury in recent times, but should be back for this match. And also, if you look at the stats, Borussia Dortmund are a team that normally score plenty of goals. They have scored at least two goals in 11 of their 15 Bundesliga home games uh, this season. So they will go once again all at, in attack and uh, uh, they need to score goals because they have to win this match to be uh, in the top four. Um, in the other end, the Real Leipzig are also a team that uh, uh, that can score goal uh, even away from home. In fact, uh, in fact, Julian Nagelsmann's match have scored in all but one of their uh, uh, away matches this term. So they sure they surely have what it takes to cause problems to a Borussia Dortmund defense that uh, have looked quite shaky for the whole season. So we do expect that this match can go either way. We believe probably Dortmund will win it, but uh, the value should be in backing uh, the over 2.5 goals. We consider also the both teams to score, but the odds are better for the over 2.5, and we believe that is the best option for this match. And for the second selection of our double, we are going to uh, look at Bayern Munich. So the the the. They will be champion probably this weekend. They're uh, going to play against at home against uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. So Bayern are, uh, um, as I said before, very, very close to their ninth consecutive Bundesliga title. They will win it uh, mathematically if they win, uh, if Leipzig will lose uh, or if they will win uh, their match. So they will be motivated to get um, their champagne out from the fridge and uh, uh, starting to celebrate. Uh, they have nothing else to worry about as they are out from the Champions League. So all the tensions will be in securing that uh, the title come to Bavaria as soon as possible. And uh, at home, they have a fantastic record. They won 11 of their last 15 games this season and they have an average of goal score of over 3.5 goals. Monsieur Glabach are coming into this match having lost three of the last five away in the league and they look pretty shaky at the back having considered at least three goals in each of those matches. So Bayern uh, on the other end, have, um, although they've been very, very powerful as, as you would expect with a man like Lewandowski in attack, they have been shaky this season at the back and that's probably the reason why they're out of Europe and uh, they, in fact in the Bundesliga they have kept only uh, four uh, clean sheets at home and um, they are on track to actually have the fewest clean sheet uh, since the 2009-10 season so definitely some problem for Hans Flick's men at the back and uh, with Mönchengladbach that uh, are um, have a good strikers and they can cause problems. We believe that uh, although Bayern Munich will come up on top, there are good opportunities that we'll see goals being scored both from both ends. So, um, in addition to that, we can say that uh, from the stats, Marco Rosa's men have scored 11, I consider 11 in the last five trips. So, this should be another 
typical Bundesliga high scoring affair. But Bayern should be winning this match. They're in better form, they're a better side, and they are motivated. So Bayern to win and both teams to score is the second selection of our double for Saturday. Um, that's um, we we back that as uh, with a medium confidence. Um, while the first bet, as I said before, the bet of the day, I forgot to say, we are begging that with uh, um, low confidence. So there is high risk, uh, although we believe that that single bet can actually come in, is, uh, um, is a risky one because we're actually adding not just the Wolfsburg to win, but also they have to win 2 nil and keep the clean sheet. Um, so, so we're backing that um, because there is a good opportunity in terms of the odds, but we keep the low stake as we don't want to risk too much on that one. Uh, on, the, on the double, as I said, we are going for a, a medium confidence. We believe that, yes, it's, uh, it's more... Um, there are two games, but they are more um, likely to come up as we see goals coming in both, both games and we see uh, Bayern be able to win this match. So. Let's conclude the tips from our expert here in this for you TV at quarter. But stay with us as we are going immediately to our Premier League ex uh, expert, uh, Robbie Billund, that will give us the tips on Saturday Premier League. So I can see Robin is connected with us. So, Robin, that's over to you. Hi, everyone. We are back again, and it's time to look ahead of game week 35 in the Premier League. We have some uh, very important fixtures, uh, teams that are uh, doing what they can to save some of their season, to reach into the top four Champions League spot, maybe at least qualify for Europa League. It's very, very tight within the top eight at the moment, and it will be very interesting to see which teams might pile up a few wins? They could take them all the way to uh, the dreamland, which is, of course, Champions League for next season. We know how much the money that comes with it means. We know how much it attracts new players uh, in the summer market that will soon be open. And uh, everything, of course, that comes with a qualification to Champions League. Uh, we are also having, as we start with Saturday, a very, very interesting game. Uh, between Man City and Chelsea, of course. Two teams that have just uh, qualified for the Champions League final. Uh, and uh, now they have a very important game in the league coming up straight away against each other. Man City can finally be crowned the Premier League winners this season. They have, of course, been the winners for long, but it's time to do it mathematically. Uh, correct as well. Uh, while Chelsea, of course, they have now a big chance if they beat Man City in the Champions League final. They are, of course, as champions directly into the Champions League next season. But if they fail to win the final, they need, of course, to make sure that they reach the top four in the, champ uh, in the Premier League so that they have a place in the Champions League next season. Um, we have picked out a double and a best bet of the day for Saturday. And we start with our double, which is uh, a way of backing two teams that need to do everything that they have here to pile up victories, do what they can. It might not be down to themselves in the end of the season here if they can reach a Champions League spot where they will end. But at least everything they can do, what they can do, what they have to do is to start winning their own games. So we have combined a double of Spurs beating Leeds at Allen Road. Leeds, of course, have you made a tremendous season. Uh, they will end in mid-table. They should be very proud of themselves. They have something to build on for the next season. Will, of course, be massively boosted with fans coming back to Allen Road as well for next season. Uh, and Marcelo Bielsa, of course, he we can only applaud what he has done with this Leeds side. But they have pretty much nothing to play for now. Spurs, they have everything to play for. Gareth Bale... Back in form, three goals uh, against Sheffield United. Jung Min Son also scoring goal. And we know that Harry Kane, he is uh, on a quest for the golden boot. So I think that Spurs will beat Leeds. And we are combining that with Liverpool to win against Southampton at home. Um, we know that it's hard to trust Liverpool at the moment. Uh, they have been the better team against both Leeds and Newcastle. But they failed to score and it cost them in the end. 
against Southampton. Uh, we should be clear that Yannick Vestergaard, who got the red card against Leicester, he will be available to play uh, as they have changed that verdict, uh, verdict here in, um, in the week uh, ahead of this game. But still, uh, Southampton, they haven't been good lately. Uh, they started the season quite fine. They were actually up top in the table after a few game weeks, uh, but haven't been uh, uh, good at all uh, recent months. So this is a chance Liverpool cannot fail to take. They didn't play last weekend uh, because of the turbulence around Old Trafford. And uh, they have also, if we compare to Harry Kane and Mo Salah, who wants to add goals to his name to reach the golden boot. So Spurs to win, Liverpool to win, that is combined into a double, which we back with a medium stake. And our best bet for Saturday is from the Man City against Chelsea game, where we think it will stay under 2.5 goals. This was two teams that kept clean sheets in the week uh, against Paris and Real Madrid. They have their strength in their defense. Man City, of course, very much boosted by Ruben Diaz uh, individually and how he have helped the team. While Chelsea, of course, with Thomas Tuchel have improved as a unit, uh, I think. Both teams could be quite happy with a draw. I think it's hard for them to both physically and especially mentality-wise to regroup and to have 110% focus on this game. So I expect that it could be uh, a lower intensity than normal and that both teams could be quite happy with this one just staying quite quiet. So under 2.5 goals in Man City against Chelsea, that is our best bet of the day. Also back with a medium stake. And I hope you get on to uh, winning ways as we start out the Premier League weekend with those bets for Saturday. Thank you very much, Robin. And let's hope that we can get more winning tips coming from you. Robin has been in fantastic form in the beginning of this month. And uh, we believe that he can deliver more tips from uh, uh, more winning tips for us. And uh, we all respect the tips provided by our expert, as we know how much uh, experience they have and how much effort they put in their analysis. As you can see in previous episodes, uh, we always back the tips from our expert and uh, you can see that from the many winning bets that we have. Uh, we will definitely continue to do that. If you want to check more of our winning bets, you can go to bettingsforyou.com website and navigate to the section uh, uh, Bettings for You TV. Uh, you will find the latest episodes and also a selection of our, our all our uh, winning bets of the latest period. So, now we are heading to Europe as we uh, have our local expert Lucas Emproni that is ready to give us uh, more tips on the Italian uh, Serie A and Spanish La Liga. Luca is well known to be the king of the goal scorer market. He's so good in tipping a uh, goal scorer and uh, he's, uh, he's been posted some fantastic profit figures in the last month and also at the start of this month. So you want to stay with us and hear what he has to say. I can see that uh, Ro um, Luca is really connected with us, so let's go over to Italy and uh, Luca, that's over to you. Ciao Simone, come al solito ben ritrovato a tutte le persone che ci seguono su Betting Tips for You. Oggi vogliamo proporvi una tripla dal campionato italiano, due partite ecco un marcatore. La prima partita sulla quale vogliamo scommettere è Fiorentina Lazio over 2 e 5. La Fiorentina viene da due pareggi, una vittoria e una sconfitta nelle ultime 5. Nell'ultima partita 3 a 3 a Bologna, partita ecco rocambolesca. Eh, la Fiorentina 45 gol fatti e 57 subiti, l'abbiamo detto tante volte, è una squadra che segna e che subisce tanto. Tanto è vero che il dato che ci fa fare questa scommessa è che nelle ultime 5 partite 4 volte c'è stato un over 2 5. La Lazio 4 vittorie e una sconfitta nelle ultime 5, è un, veramente in un buon periodo di forma, come abbiamo detto già altre volte. 4-3 in casa l'ultima partita con il Genoa, nelle ultime 6 partite 5 volte è uscito l'over 2-5. Anche la Lazio è una squadra che segna tanto, ma subisce anche tanto, sono sempre partite spettacolari quelle della Lazio. E ecco perché, quindi ripetiamo, vogliamo scommettere Fiorentina-Lazio over 2-5. La seconda partita sulla quale vogliamo scommettere è Spezia-Napoli 2, lo Spezia viene a 2 pareggi, 2 sconfitte, e una vittoria nelle ultime 5, 1 a 1 a Verona nell'ultima di campionato, 
ha ottenuto 18 punti in casa su 16 partite, una media di 1,1 a partita, ecco, non, non, ha, non va fortissimo in casa, e eh, ha però più 3 sulla zona eh, salvezza, una squadra, quella italiana, che abbiamo detto tante volte, quest'anno ha giocato un buon calcio, gli facciamo i complimenti, anche se ultimamente è in calo. Il Napoli invece, tre vittorie e due pareggi nelle ultime cinque, 1-1 in casa l'ultima con il Cagliari, dove è stato agguantato all'ultimo eh, minuto, sta vincendo 1-0. Eh, 31 punti fuori casa, è la quarta squadra del campionato italiano, per punti in trasferta, è una squadra, come abbiamo detto altre volte, che ha ripreso a giocare, ha ripreso a macinare punti, e ehm, ecco, deve assolutamente vincere, perché ha due punti di ritardo su Juventus e Milan, e quindi sulla zona eh, Champions, Juve Milan 69 e Napoli 67, e deve vincere proprio perché eh, Juventus e Milan si incontreranno domenica nello sconto diretto, ecco perché vogliamo giocare Spezia Napoli 2. La terza giocata della nostra tripla è Immobile Marcatore in Fiorentina Lazio, 19 gol quest'anno, come abbiamo detto, 36 lo scorso anno, scarpa d'oro, l'abbiamo detto tante volte, e come avevamo detto qui su Betty Tips for You, eh, si è sempre essersi sbloccato, tanto è vero che eh, Immobile ha segnato 5 gol nelle ultime 4 partite, e è un giocatore appunto che quando inizia a segnare, non si ferma più quindi ricapitolando la nostra triple Fiorentina Lazio over 2 e 5 Spezia Napoli 2 e immobile marcatore in Fiorentina Lazio voglio dare un livello di confidenza 3 a questa scommessa perché ci sono buone probabilità che esca ma è pur sempre una tripla e come abbiamo detto altre volte nelle ultime partite eh, in ogni campionato insomma è, è difficile ecco, eh, indovinare le eh, giocate ne ricordarvi come sapete giocare responsabilmente auguro un buon calcio a tutti e ridò a te la linea Simone ciao a tutti thank you Luca and let's hope that we can get more winning bets from Italy uh, as I said before Luca is in a great form and uh, is, uh, has delivered a fantastic profit for us both in April and at the start of this month you can see all the previous episode to see all the winning bets that uh, have been delivered by Luca and also on uh, betting this for you uh, Com, you will also find in the Betting for You TV section uh, the results from April from our experts. You can see exactly how many wins they had, and um, I can tell you that April looks even better than that. So, but fingers crossed that we can continue and do that well, uh, also like we've done in April. That's concluded our show for today, for Saturday. We're going to be back on Sunday as well, so make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell. All you need to do to subscribe to our channel is uh, log in into YouTube account and click subscribe. That's it. Everything is completely free. And uh, also, if you like the show, please put a big thumbs up as that will allow us to produce more and more videos. And last but not least, if you like some of the bets that we suggested, don't uh, make your life too difficult. Just go in the, in the description below. We've placed all the links for you ready for a, a big click so that uh, the bets will load immediately into the bookmakers uh, account and that will allow you to place the bets without uh, wasting time, uh, risking to get it incorrectly and also you normally will get a better return by uh, backing uh, our tips in this way. If you don't have an account you will normally get also a free bet or promotion by the bookmakers that we have suggested. So. That's all for today. If you decide to play some of uh, the bets that we suggested, I wish you great luck. Also, if you decide to bet uh, some other bets, uh, great luck anyway. But uh, um, I hope that you have enjoyed the show and uh, uh, enjoy the football and uh, always remember to gamble responsibly. Bye now. See you on Sunday.